Uh, if you want to be, if you're a little tired of some of that stuff, you might be, want to be brought down to some more basic information. And uh, who doesn't want to know about the best and worst service stations in the UK? Well, if you travel uh, a lot, you, this is well, yeah, crucial it's information. This is important information. Yeah. Uh, and it turns out that the, uh, the best one uh, is the services are on the M6 in rugby, uh, which has a 100% approval rating. And the worst uh, is Hartshead Moor East on the M62. Now, what comes through in this survey, you won't be surprised to hear, is there is a massive focus on toilets. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and the, the reality here is that the best service station, the rugby service in the M M6, had a 99% satisfaction rate with its lavatories. 99% satisfaction rate, which very, is pretty high, good. right? But by way of comparison, uh, you go down to 80 percent and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Get have the toilets ever, right and everything else follows. Have you ever gone to a service station, seen the toilets weren't great and then left and, not, not, and gone to the next one? Well, because the to specifically because of the toilets? Yes. I don't think so. Because, well, let's not go down that. I mean, I, I, think, I think we all know the reason why you wouldn't. No, so because I do travel a fair amount now, I will always go before I need to. Mm. So that I think I can, is, I do have the option. This is it's the too much information. No, no territory. it's about planning. I it's think not. It is. Did they look at food or anything like that? Yes. And? But all very secondary. <laughs> it is, it's basically. So it hence us talking about it now. Yes, this I know. This is something that taps into the nation's psyche. No, it does. It's, it's all about toilets. That's all it's about. Do you give me, shall I bring you a little bit of joy? Go on then. I just love an achievement. So this is 23 year old endurance athlete. Um, who, um, Jasmine Harrison, 900 miles in 110 days in water. She swam into John O'Groats Harbour on Tuesday. Um, her journey was um, starting at Land's End, finishing at John O'Groats. And she's the first ever, she's the second fastest person to compete the swim after the marathon sea swimmer, Ross Edgeley. Um, she's a in swimming instructor, actually. That is I incredible. Mean, so she had to wear the thing. So I started thinking about the things you need to wear when you're in in the sea. Yeah, obviously a wetsuit. You want to stay warm. She had to wear a padded balaclava after being stung up to fifteen times by jellyfish. Oh, that's right. You often that's hear those stories. That's the thing, isn't it? That is the thing. She spent every night of the challenge aboard her yacht. So um, there was a yacht of five crew, and she survived on a diet of chocolate sandwiches and tinned meat. I think sandwiches would be quite tricky at sea or whatever. Yeah, but she's on the yacht. She's not swimming now. She swam during the day. She was in the yacht yeah. at night. Anyway, Amazing well done. Amazing Brilliant. Well done. Jasmine Harrison, very impressive.